there's a huge difference between uh, the religion of Islam and Islamism. Islam is actually a religion which believes in spirituality. It believes in Tawheed and Sunnah. It believes in monotheism. It believes in prayers, fasting, Hajj, uh, and believing in God, believing in angels, believing in prophets, and, and, the, and the day of judgment. This is all about Islam. Uh, whereas Islamism is a dangerous ideology. It's, it's actually a disease. It's a very dangerous ideology. And this ideology uses Islam for the political goals. Uh, they use Islam to form a government. They, they, they use Islam to politicize, the, uh, to politicize, politicize their issues. And they use Islam to rebel against the governments, to approve the governments. So this is actually a dangerous ideology, uh, which is a challenge in today's time. And Islam is, Islamism is, uh, is all about seeking power using the name of Islam. And uh, their whole objective is to get an upper hand and to, to, uh, to challenge the governments, to approve the governments. This is their whole objective. And one thing about them is they, um, they won't be satisfied with any government. They won't be satisfied with any government. In fact, their predecessors, whom we Muslims call as Khawarij, in fact, in Saudi Arabia, the type of people who rebel against the governments are called as Khawarij in the Arabic terminology. They, in fact, assassinated the rulers and the kings and the caliphs of their time uh, because they felt that they weren't actually ruling as per the definition of Islam. And uh, most interesting thing about uh, them, the Islamists, is that they work behind the flowery words like freedom, liberty, justice, and social cause. You'll be, you'll be surprised to know that during the Prophet Muhammad's time, a person, his name was Dul Qoistara, he stood up publicly against the Prophet and accused him of committing injustice. So Prophet warned any, everybody that among his children will be Khawarij, who will fight the authorities, who will fight the governments, who will accuse the governments, and they will cause corruption on land. In fact, he ordered his companions to deal with these type of people very firmly. Uh, and, uh, you know, the main differentiating factor between the uh, traditional Muslims and the Islamists is that Muslims believe that prophets were sent by God to connect people to him, to call people towards his worship. This is what the traditional Muslims believe. While the Islamists preach uh, this narrative, they push this narrative that the prophets came to rebel against the authorities. They came to rebel and establish their governments. This is what they, they, they preach. In fact, one of the um, famous Saudi scholars, his name is uh, uh, Sheikh, uh, Sheikh Rabi al Madhali. He, he authored a book called Manhaj al Anbiya. And in his book, he explained the difference between the Islamists and the Muslims. An interesting thing here is Islamists have caused more damage to the Muslims and Islam in general. Their whole belief uh, revolves around establishing caliphate, Khilafah. And for this reason, the Sufi master in Egypt, his name was Hassan al-Banna. He formed Muslim Brotherhood in 1928. And later, Sayyid Qutb, he took control of Al-Ikhwan. And uh, this guy, Sayyid Qutb, was very dangerous. He was influenced by the Iran's uh, Shia Islamists. He was influenced by the pre-independence Maududis ideology. And uh, he was also influenced by Hassan al-Banna. So eventually he came up with a very dangerous cocktail. And uh, from jamaat islami to Dr. Israr Ahmed, all these preachers, they have ignited the fire of Islamism in the Muslim world. So we can say that Khomeini, Hassan al-Banna, Sayyid Qutb and Maududi, these are the five pillars of Islamism. And these are the people who have uh, practiced, promoted, and preached Islamism in their lives. And because of their deeds, I, I would say because of their misdeeds, um, uh, the whole Muslim world is suffering today. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit CITTI.net. Dhanavad, Namaskar.